Condoleezza Rice met Colonel Gaddafi in 2008. It was the first visit to Tripoli by a U.S. Secretary of State since the 1950s. The backdrop, Libya's decision to give up its weapons of mass destruction five years earlier. The challenge, not to upset the families of the Lockerbie bombing victims. Gaddafi was widely accused of masterminding the attack. In a new book to be released next month, Rice writes that Gaddafi wanted to meet her in his tent, but she refused, and in the end they met at his formal residence in Tripoli. She says Gaddafi had a slightly eerie fascination with me personally, asking visitors why his African princess wouldn't visit him. Rice also tells how she repeatedly clashed with former Vice President Dick Cheney over what to do with what she referred to as captured terrorism suspects. In the book she calls Cheney's staff very much of one ultra-hawkish mind. In a reference to Guantanamo Bay, Rice adds that the most intense confrontation between her and Mr. Cheney came when she argued that detainees could not be disappeared as in some authoritarian states. She also reveals a falling out with Cheney over the holding of 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in a secret prison. Thank you all for coming. I At one point, Rice threatened to resign on learning that President Bush had authorized military commissions for detainees without telling her. Bush later apologized. And the former Secretary of State also reveals her regrets about holidaying in New York as Hurricane Katrina approached New Orleans. She'd gone for a weekend break to see a Broadway musical. She also went shopping. Rice says when she read the headlines, she sat there kicking myself for having been so tone deaf. I wasn't just a Secretary of State with responsibility for foreign affairs. I was the highest ranking black in the administration and a key advisor to the presidency. What had I been thinking? She says in retrospect the aftermath of Katrina was the first of a spiral of negative events that would almost engulf the Bush presidency. No Higher Honor, a memoir of my years in Washington, will be published on November the 1st. Julia Mills, Al Jazeera.